there are some keywords which are used in algebra and we are going to study those keywords that language of mathematics in this video so look at this this is pronounced as 3x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0 and whenever we see this equal to sign and there are certain things written on the left and certain things written on the right but with the equal to sign that is known as the equation so this is the equation so whatever i just read 3x square minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0 is called an equation and then on the left side of the equation the left side means the things that are written on the left side of this equal to mark this is the left side of the equation is simply called an expression so expression does not have an equal to mark so writing expressions on both sides we can write an equation on the both sides of the equal to mark of course the zero is also an expression but it's basically just a number okay. and this expression has on the left side this expression has three terms this is the first term this is the second term and this is the third term and you can see that the three terms are separated by some uh, minus mark and plus mark okay so the negative sign or the minus sign or the plus sign separates the terms so 3x square is just a term then 6x is also a term and 9 is also a term terms can be made by multiplication for example 3x square is nothing but 3 multiplied by x multiplied by x but the minute i say okay then add a 6 to it so it becomes a different term so this becomes the first term and 6 becomes the second term remember while we multiply we club them together in the same term so 6x is nothing but 6 multiplied by x so this becomes the second term and then when we add a 9 to it it becomes the third term so remember if i write 3y cubed or in fact negative 3y cubed that is nothing but negative 3 multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y remember we can also put a dot instead of writing that uh, multiplication sign of uh, cross so negative 3 multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y is nothing but 3y cube and since we have only used multiplication in this it is considered to be the same term in fact division is also uh, allowed um, so the same term will have multiplication signs in between them but the minute you subtract this or you add we have different terms so we studied about equation equation is um, something that looks like this with an equal to mark in between an equation has two sides this is the left hand side and the other is the right hand side over here the right hand side is just a zero and on both the sides we have expressions and expressions may contain one or many terms for example the right hand side just contains one term but the left hand side contains three terms the terms may be composed of multiplication or divisions but the minute you add or subtract the things we get different terms now look at 3x square 3x square is made up of 3 multiplied by x multiplied by x so this numerical number number is nothing but the coefficient this is called the coefficient of 3x square so the number which uh, comes before any term is nothing but the coefficient so in 6x the coefficient is 6 but if you look at 9 that's a constant number a constant number does not have any letter like x y z in it so that is called a constant number or a constant term now look at the bottom one the second one this is also an equation 7x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 3y plus k so you can see this is nothing but an equation because it is having an equal to mark in it 
and on the left side of the equation we have an expression and on the right side also we have another expression 7x is the first term of the left hand side 2y is the second term and 5 is the third term and the first two terms are separated by the plus mark and the second and third are separated by the minus these are the operation signs the plus and the minus but remember if the operation sign is multiply it will be considered as a single term similarly there are three terms on this side also 2x 3y and k these are the three terms on the right hand side also now the coefficient of 7x is 7 the coefficient of 2y is 2 and 5 is a constant number similarly the coefficient of 2x is 2 the coefficient of 3y is actually negative 3 and uh, k over here remember in this case k is a constant number though we can see it is a letter but it over here represents constant numbers certain numbers or certain letters like c or k um, represent constant numbers and they are not variables so we are going to learn in the future videos what are what is the difference between a constant and a variable though they both are, uh, they look the same they are made of letters so remember that what is an expression yeah and uh, in over here 6x has a negative sign so actually the coefficient of 6x will be minus minus 6 and not 6 as i just told you so in this video we just said about what is an equation what is an expression and what are different terms and what are the coefficients of the terms and what are the operation signs and this 2 that we see over here is the index so these are different terms and terminal terminologies that we use in maths okay we are going to learn about them in the future videos also thanks for watching